What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how some narcissistic people will keep you on as a backup supply, will keep you on the fence, will keep you as in the storage section. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe for more. Thank you. So just because a narcissist is done with you does not mean that they will leave you alone. And of course, if you knew her, I'm actually a diagnosed narcissist. Yeah, a narcissistic person can absolutely move on to another relationship and try to keep you on the hook as backup supply. It happens all the time, y'all. Especially if they cheated with their new partner and then they left you for their new partner, they will try to convince you to come sleep with them. Hey, you wanna get your lick back? They knew that I was with you and they still slept with me. You can get them back though by sleeping with me. A lot of narcissists love to keep you around as the backup person, y'all. They will just downgrade you in their life. And if you remain the backup person, I promise you, they won't allow you to move on. They will pop up at your house. They will do anything and everything to keep you to keep you single while they're happily in another relationship happily that's the way the dynamic goes a lot of times y'all but be very careful for narcissistic people reaching out to you being nice to you even though they've moved on like being extra nice like trying to see you one-on-one -on -one, trying to hang with you by yourself don't become the backup So yeah, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, yeah. Sometimes narcissistic people, toxic people, will absolutely try to keep you on as a backup supply. And I say this all the time, just because a narcissist has left you alone does not mean that they have actually moved on. Before I hop into today's episode, y'all, new in the shop, new in the self-love shop, I'm vital, I love me, vital. The link is in the description of every single video I do. I love me, self-love brand is still available. I'm vital, this new, this is hot off the press. I'm just, I just put it on, y'all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, a lot of narcissistic, <laughs> a lot of narcissistic people like to have backup supplies. I know people are like, no one person is enough for a narcissist, and that has very little to do with you, y'all. I say this all the time, but people seem to take it personally. No one person is enough for a narcissist, and it's not your fault. It's not your fault, y'all. It doesn't. It just doesn't work that way. Like, so if I left you for someone else. I might try to convince you to stay on as a, try to convince you to stay on as a backup. Look, I don't know what I did. I don't know why I left you for her when I made a mistake. I don't know what to do though. I don't wanna, it, it would seem silly if I left her for you, wouldn't it? Or they try to convince you, if they were cheating on you with this person, they might try to convince you to sleep with them. Hey, look, I cheated on you with them and they knew. So do you not want to get your leg back? Do you not want some sweet, sweet vengeance and some sweet, sweet cheeks clapped? You see what I'm saying? Do you not want, do you not want to get your leg? Do you not want to get back at them? They did it to you. Why don't you do it back to them? They will try to make you question. They will, y'all, they will make you question your morals and do some morally uncomfortable things that you might not be okay with. You know what I mean? That's what, that's the dynamic that you deal with when you're dealing with a toxic narcissistic person. They, they will absolutely try to keep you on as backup. Not all the time, y'all, but sometimes they will try to, sometimes they move on and leave you alone. But sometimes they don't want to see you with anybody else. Just because they have somebody else and they seem happy with somebody else and they seem enthusiastic to be in a new relationship, they seem like everything is going wonderfully in this new space that they're in, does not mean that they will leave you alone, y'all. And if you allow them to keep you as backup, sometimes and they, they will just keep you there in that position for years years i've heard y'all i've talked to thousands i tell you i talked to thousands of people over the last few years believe me and so many people said yeah i wasted years thinking that they were going to come back every time they tell they, they left me for somebody else and they kept telling me they, they were they were going to come back but then they would get married and then a baby would pop up and then this would happen then that would happen I, I wasted five years six years so much time waiting on a person that left you to come back and then they finally discarded them and broke their heart. Like, you tell you want to come back to me. I showed their partner everything, they didn't care. Y'all, I'm just telling you, if you, as long as you hang on, they will keep you as a hanger on. You mean, that's just how they will go. They will absolutely keep you as a hanger on and just mess with your head. That's literally what they will do to you. A lot of toxic narcissistic people will do this exact same thing if you allow them to do it. But sometimes you're not allowing them to do it. Sometimes they will absolutely make your life harder. 
They just make your life hard. They'll just make it hard for you to move on. They'll keep popping up on you. They'll keep making it uncomfortable for you to have company at your house. They will do whatever. Sometimes they will do whatever it takes to make you feel uncomfortable. So you don't have anybody else over there. So you don't have anybody else around their kids. So you don't have anybody else around the house that they might have to pay for. Whatever the situation is, they might make your your life so hard that you are scared to move on. So you're just sitting in backup. So you're just sitting in backup back up in that backup position anyway it's like they put you in a st- yeah, it's literally like they put you in storage like they put you in like a time capsule like hey look you stay here waiting on me and i'll be back in a few years okay they will do that to you do as long if you allow and i'm just telling you y'all you have to take back your power and take back your strength i know you, you just have to and be safe about it of course and document everything document your experience with this person if you have to wear a damn body cam or one of those like little james bond pins do that y'all you do, do that. You have to do that. Like, because uh, if you don't, I'm just telling you, they're going to ruin your life. They're going to ruin your life and just have you questioning your morals and ethics and have you doing things that you never thought you would do. There's a movie called, um, I mentioned this movie before, um, with Alec Baldwin, I think Meryl Streep is in it, uh, Jim from The Office. It's called uh, It's Complicated, where, Mer- well, where Alec Baldwin was married to Meryl Streep. And he left her for a younger woman. He married this younger woman. He had kids with her. But then he started cheating on his new wife with his old wife. And she was having fun with it. But then she started questioning herself. She's like, yeah, you know what? This is terrible. What am I doing? And then he tried to leave the new wife for her. And she's like, no, you cheated on her. No, no. You good? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They'll have you doing things outside of your comfort zone to, like I said, well, at least I got my lick back. Or you, at least I, you, know, I, you cheated on me. They will keep you in the backup category, y'all, as long as you allow them to keep you there. And some people like being the backup. I'm just telling you. I know some people's mindsets. It's like, well, at least I got. At least I. At least I'm not alone. At least I. At least I get to share this person. At least they didn't leave me completely. The mindset. Ask yourself this question, y'all. What am I doing? <laughs> ask yourself that question and be honest. Don't just ask yourself that question. Be honest with yourself. At what am I doing? What am I doing here? What am I getting from this? What is the benefit of me doing this in this situation right here? You and me. Or am, am I morally or ethically compromised while I'm doing this? Empower yourself, y'all, because I'm just telling you, narcissistic people, they think you belong to them. They do. And they won't let you, they, they will make it hard as hell for you to move on. They will make it, they will make your life so hard when you try to move on from them. It is insane. You know what I mean? And you be like, well, you left me. Why did you just leave, just leave me alone? You left me. Leave me alone. And they'll just keep doing it, y'all, over and over and over again. But anyways, y'all, stay empowered. Um like and subscribe for more of course like i said don't forget to check out the i'm vital it's the new new that new new <laughs> like and subscribe for more check out the the, mail, the newsletter as well y'all have some new interesting stuff coming up here pretty soon like and subscribe for more mental illness is out peace thank you so much for making it to the end of my video y'all thank you for watching all the way through i'm eternally grateful for you if you haven't already you made it this far you might as well go and hit this subscription button y'all turn on the notification so we can reach more people help me reach more people and whatnot the self-love brand is available as well link is in the description of every single video i do y'all um i'm aware this is the i love me brand the self-love journal is also available too y'all i have a weekly newsletter that goes out as well if you haven't Check in to join the channel memberships for, for, for some behind the scenes access and more perks and things like that, y'all. Thank you so much. Mental Hunters is out. Peace.